We're now ready to start sewing the slim line sling. For this video, you'll need pieces A through E. But to start off with, you're just gonna need your flat pieces. Now I have al already cut my decoville. I trimmed half an inch around it and I um, fused it to one of my flat pieces. And this flat piece is the one that we will be attaching the, the magnetic snap. So I uh, like to poke a hole through my paper and then mark where it goes. We will be using the uh, thinner, thinner side of the snap. The thicker side we'll be using in a few steps, but for now we're using the thinner side and a washer. Mark it with a pen and then use your seam ripper to carefully rip the length of your pen, but no further. This goes into the right side. And then the washer goes on top. And I like to use my point turner to uh, flatten these prongs. And then because this is going to end up like this, and over time those prongs could make an imprint on this side, I'm going to cover them in a little bit of masking tape. Masking tape, duct tape, electrical tape, it all helps just cover up these prongs so they won't poke through to the other side, hopefully. Okay, I'm now going to take my two flat pieces and put them right sides together. And I'm going to sew them. Remember, the seam allowance is 3 eighths of an inch. And you will now trim off about half of the seam allowance. And then I will be so uh, cutting little triangles in this seam. You can also use pinking shears. My pinking shears don't do really well with vinyl though. So my uh, scissors are a little bit sharper. And I prefer to use them. And I cut these little triangles in the seam but I don't go through the stitching. I just go up to the stitching, but not through. Not all the way up. This just gives the uh, seam a little bit of flexibility when it's turning right side out so that it can have a smoother edge. Now I turn this right side out. And if your fabric is pressable, after you turn it right side out, you'll press it uh, with this vinyl. I will not be doing that. It's not perfectly smooth. Sometimes it's hard to get that with some vinyls. So 
So I'm just doing my best to smooth it. Okay, I'm going to top stitch this and I'm going to lengthen my stitch as I go around. Uh, I do want to make sure that I am going to not run into this. So I'm just checking that. I think what I'm going to do is uh, change the uh, my position of my needle just a little bit so that I don't run into that side of the snap. I should have switched to my Teflon foot. Next, I'm going to need my B piece, the corner. See how there's a star right here? Right now we're gonna be sewing all these pieces with stars together. So that is the left corner and the piece C, which is the back lining, not the front, but the back lining. If you mix up your, if you lose your pattern pieces and you're comparing them, The back piece is this narrower one. The front piece is the wider one because when we match them up later on, it'll create the pocket for the phone. So you'll notice that the star is on this, this short end. So these these edges that both have the stars are going to go together, but I'm going to sandwich the flap in between and I'm going to sandwich it with the snap facing down and I'm going to center it. Where's my ruler? This is the side, the size small, but each each size will be slightly different. This is about an inch and an, one and an eighth of an inch. But the uh, other sizes are slightly different. I'm just trying to make this sure it's exactly in the center. Oops. Let me keep this in the view of the screen. And then I am going to place this directly on it. And clip these together. All right. Now I will sew the pieces together. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm going to top stitch with the flap pointing out towards the corner. I'm going to top stitch across this. And especially with these thick vine with the thicker fabrics like the vinyl, uh, I feel like it needs just a little bit extra of top stitching to keep this from whenever it turns, making the seam in the back flip back. So I uh, like to top stitch this twice. I feel like that helps a little bit. 
this is going to be like this though. So try to push this into position. Okay, so we're done with this back pocket. And now we need the front pocket lining, piece D, which has a uh, hexagon. And piece E, and we're going to be uh, focusing on this hexagon side right here. Sorry, my pieces are falling all over. Okay, so this piece also has uh, a, oops, just threw my pattern piece where I actually need it. This uh, piece also has position for a magnetic snap, so we need to install that. Uh, if you have thinner fabric, I recommend putting in this a strip of Decoville right here, just an inch and a half wide, but you keep it away from the seam allowance. And uh, for this fabric, though, it's it's not thinner. It, it'll hold its position, its shape just fine without. Uh, folding back in on itself. So I'm just going to use a small square of Decoville, which I actually forgot, so I've got to go grab that. Okay, and just like I did on the other side, I'm going to poke a hole through here and mark the placement right here. Here's my other washer. Sorry, I have it out of view for a second because I'm trying to get it close enough to myself to see. Okay. Okay. These pens don't really want to mark up and stay on this vinyl. This is marine vinyl, but it's kind of a thinner marine vinyl. And I haven't used it before, but it seems like a good vinyl for this pattern. And then I also need to take my Decaville and make my marks, my slits. Here's my second half of my magne magnetic snap. I'm going to poke it through. And then I will put my Decaville right here. Peltex works too. And I will take my uh, seam presser and push it like that. You can cover this side up with masking tape too. I don't find it nearly as necessary because this side won't be uh, exposed, but it's always kind of nice to, to cover this up. All right, I went ahead and covered that with some masking tape. And now I need the front pocket and this left front exterior and I'm going to clip them together and stitch. Now I'm going to turn them wrong sides together and top stitch, but this time I'm going to use a uh, um, Teflon foot for, to help it not stick to my machine so much. 
This also shouldn't be so bad because I've got cotton on the back. Oh, that's not my Teflon foot. That's my zipper foot. Teflon foot. Oh, and it's always good to check before you sew right next to a magnetic snap if you're going to have space. Yes, I will have space. I did try to design it so that you'll have space, but not every machine has the same uh, width of feet, so it's good to check. Okay, so I've got the front of the pocket and the back of the pocket. Now I'm ready to attach them together. What I usually do is I match them up at the base first. And then along one of the sides, And then along the other side. Okay, so I have these sewn together and you'll notice this does not lay flat because this top piece is larger. So just make sure that the corner and the top of the, the exterior are folded out of the way. And we'll sew So now we've got this pocket sewn, but right here, I'm going to take these edges and baste right here. Just a few stitches here, and a few stitches here. Make sure to stay within the seam allowance. And I'm going to just trim this right here to keep it. smoother this line right here generally that lines up but I must have moved it slightly off so there now your phone should fit perfectly in here I've got kind of a large phone I tried to make this pattern fit my phone so I think it'll fit most phones uh, but some of them might be this might be too big for some so I would say take your phone and put it inside see where it hits see where the pocket lies when it's closed and if you like its position or if it's just hanging way too far down you can try reaching in and seeing how far you have to reach to get it if you don't like that then uh, you can always sew this part smaller 
So this works well for phones and for sunglasses. And remember that when it's finished, it'll be closed by about this much more. So make sure that you test it, see if your uh, phone will actually fit. And we're now done with the top corner.